New developments tonight stemming from a Call 6 investigation into a Super Bowl rental scam. Indiana's Attorney General has now ordered the company to pay back Hoosiers it ripped off. Dozens of homeowners will get refunds after the company offered a chance at big bucks leading up to the big game. RTV6 reporter Stacia Matthews joins us live from outside our Monument Circle studio with more. Stacia. Signs say uh, were popping up all over the city, basically saying rent your home for the Super Bowl and get up to 10 grand a day. But it was a bogus deal, and the state sued. Indiana's attorney general took legal action against Super Week Lodging, an Arizona based business accused of charging Hoosiers fees for listing their homes to rent for the Super Bowl and not coming through. Owner Josh Hanna failed to respond to the lawsuit, so a Marion County Superior Court judge slapped a default judgment against him and his company. The judgment is for $217,000. A woman who lives here is one of the 32 homeowners ripped off in the scam. She told RTV6 in February she paid nearly $1,500 to post pictures on Super Week Lodging's website. The company promised to pay her $8,500 a day for five days. Who in their right mind would pay that kind of money for a house with no maid service? No limousine service. In March, Super Week Lodging mailed out refund forms to its customers but has yet to send any money. The default judgment amounts to close to $41,000 in consumer restitution, $176,000 in civil penalties, and $750 in cost. It's really important that consumers know to be wary, but also that those who would seek to scam our people know that this is not a friendly state for scammers. Now, the state says that it will do everything within its power to make sure that Hoosiers get every penny back. Another Arizona-based rental company is also facing a lawsuit for not getting the deal done. Todd? Anastasia, has that company been more cooperative? Uh, in fact, they have. Major Events Rentals has refunded nine of its 17 customers who have filed complaints. And that company collected more than $8,900. All right. Good news for a lot of people. Uh, Stacia Matthews reporting live downtown. Stacia, thanks.